Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another video. This video is about fitting two TV media units or media style units. You can see I'm half asleep. It's in High Wycombe. Lots to do. Three days aiming to get this one done in. So let's hope it all goes well. So we are full to the brim today, We've got lots. And we just managed to get the ledge in at the top. So the first thing is first is um, getting all this out, which is gonna take about an hour and a half-ish. Um, put dust sheets down in the house. And um, yeah, away we go, start assembling and bearers. Say hello, Sean. All right, so let's run over the space because we've got lots to do and uh, not much time. But here we go, on this side of the house, we have the library unit. We've got the holes to cut out eventually. There's some lights and some sockets to be able to, to pull through at a later stage. Moving down here, this is where the TV media unit slash gym storage unit is going. And we've got all our dust sheets down, brought our packers in, moved some bits around, created some space. And now we're just bringing some components in. So yeah, it's raining, which is not ideal. So we've had to just cover up the top of our van to minimize how much rain gets on our components but for now we just need to just take one in at a time gonna take a good hour or so to do so and then as they're in we're gonna cover them up use the same sheets but i'm gonna put the camera down get cracking because we don't want to get the components wet okay so yeah we're just bringing components in now we are covering them up with a dust sheet because it's pouring down out there we're just stacking them anywhere we can find some space yeah pouring down so I'm in the van now, and we've got this ledge on the top, which is three point something meters long. It's pouring down. Ultimately, we don't want to get it wet, but yeah, I'm going to bring a few more components out here, which I think I can. And then I'm going to cover the top up. We'll slide that out, and then we could just bring, bring things in from the pole down, from the top down. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but we're only doing this once, I hope. Right, two hours later, and the van is unloaded. All we need to do is get out the tools and maybe you leave the benches here until we need them. Right, we're at 10 o'clock and we are fully unloaded. All our sheets are down, ready to rock and roll. Tools are out. We've got all our trends, kit out, everything that we need. So basically we just need to get our drills out, selection of screws, basically 50s and 30s um, for our bearers and packers. Sean will be assembling carcasses. I'll be putting down the bearers. Sean, what screws are you going to be using for your carcasses? Four varieties, four varieties and pocket screws. There we go. So that's what we're going to be using. And some biscuits. What size biscuits? Yeah, number 10s. Number 10s. We use 10s because we don't think 20s are necessary. 10s are good enough. Yeah, so I'm going to be putting those bearers down on this room first. Going to move that out of the way. Move the time lapse video out of the way and get cracking. So this is what we've got. All of these. Doesn't look a massive amount, but believe me, it took a while to make. And we've got a few components here. Some over here, a couple of pieces over here, a couple of pieces over here. This is where the library unit is going to go. So once I've put down the bearers in the other room, I'll start my bearers on this room. But we thought we'd just set up the camera on the time lapse, do our filming on this side where it's lighter, and we'll get some more footage over there when it comes to putting those carcasses down. So Sean, how many carcasses are there in total? Ten. Hey, ten. That was super quick. <laughs> super quick. And how many bearers have we got to put down? Uh, Four. Steps. Here we go. Anyway, so what Sean does at the beginning of the day, he gets out the drills, all the screws needed. We get a set of combis each. We don't tend to use the impacts anymore. We've just got two combis each, um, one for a pre-drill, one for a um, Phillips bit in it. And yeah, and that is it. The pre-drill is a three mil. Here's our screws, the 450s and the 430s. We've got a few pencils, a couple of tape measures to hand, levels. We've got all our packers. So packers, selection of 18s, sixes, one mil shims, three mils. So that's what I'm going to be using to put these bearers down. So I'm on the usual, I'm on the bearers, and I do it my usual style. I put down the base packers first, which are just 18 mil packers, 18 mil thick MDF. I've marked out where they need to go, and they are basically where there is load being taken down, so any upright. Plus, I'm going to put a packer in between any wide spaces, so one there, one there, one there. 
If you want to see how to install bearers, there is a video right at the top. And I'll also make a playlist for this entire video also. Sean is um, cracking on the carcasses at the moment. And this is number one. So he's got one done just filling in the 30s for the backs. We're at 20 to 12 and we're not doing too badly. A little bit behind just because outside it was raining, delayed taking all the pieces out of the van. But bearers are down in the um, front room side. That took a while. The floor was a little bit out, up and down, a little bit of flex in the floorboards in position. So I've had to wedge some floorboards in place, screw some down. But that one is all level and ready to go. As you can see, we've got the bearers or the packers in positions where all the uprights will be to take that load down to the bottom. Um, Sean is on carcass number what? Four? Yeah, he's still on the... How many on the um, grey? Six. Six units, yeah. Okay, so three more of the dark colour. If we walk around, these are the units here, ready to go. These are all the bottom ones. They're going along the bottom of the library unit. Um, I'm going to crack on now. I need to move these pieces out of the way. I'm going to crack on and get on with um, getting these two bearers down. Another hour and a half, let's say maybe, let's just say one to be safe, then I can start getting carcasses in position. We do have a couple of sockets to cut out for, one there and I think one there also. These are for lights at the top, so we've got a wide pelmet detail at the top, I remember, so they need to be drilled through the pelmets afterwards. So we've moved the sight lights over to the other side now, but this is what the bearers look like over here. Let's walk into the other side. Sean's cracking on with the upper unit now. And I have marked my marks on, pencil line front and back, got my margins, and then I've just marked the pencil where they're gonna go in relation to the width. I'm now just gonna work along with my 80 mil base packers, which is what I generally do, wherever they are, there we go. So we're just gonna put a run of, there we go, there's a line there, pencil line, this is all gonna get covered with the unit. So that is the front of the bearer, and that is the center line of the packer and we gain there we've got one at the back that is the back of the bearer and the center line and i'm just going to simply do that to all of them screw these down with some 30 mil screws so we're not going through the floorboards and then we can just build up with one more 18 mil check our levels and then use our level two add three sixes or ones or any shims that we need to get up to the right level place the bearers on screw down into those said packers and away we go before i do i just need to find my highest spot so i'm going to get my level across in the width front and back see where my high spot is i will also get my level um this way too to get my high spot front and back so for example if it was high in that corner in relation to the width then i'll get my level over there and go front to back and if it was high there i'd start from that point and work my way across level back and work my way across so it's starting to look really nice taking shape this paint is really really lovely Got such a nice finish on it with this new amicus paint that we use in the vanites 1k paints the first time we've used it we wanted something really really durable and tough something that would cure back in the past we used dark colors and they would just take forever to cure and we are getting really awesome finishes at the moment so this is the way all the top units are going to be left we haven't got a bottom going on here because these uprights are going to be sitting on top of the ledge so it's going to be this shape we're going to get a side in and then we're going to flip it over get a backing on and then that is ready to sit on top of the ledge below so we're going to do that for the next two after this one and then we'll have all our carcasses ready to put on top of the bearers see how far we get today at the moment it's half past 12 and we've got three carcasses made there nearly one done there there was 10 in total one set bearers done and nearly one finished. So yeah, gonna crack on. So we have got this side on this way because it's a lot easier just to screw down through that side. Here you can see the construction process. This is how we're fixing this unit down to the ledge. We've obviously got these battens here to take the trims, hence the reason they're fluffy and got biscuit slots in them. So we've got a trim just going on that edge of it to give the Art Deco kind of like stepped look. Gonna make them flush for the back. Got the holes pre-drilled. Gonna go through with the three mil once they're lined up. Put in some four fifties. Once that's done, we can just lay it on its front. Remove all blankets. 
down, get the backing on. We will then just pump in lots of 30 mil screws into everything at the back. Give it lots of strength. The reason they are this thick, they are 43 mil thick, is because we have books going in here. It's a library unit. Let's see if we can get a picture. Well, this is the look that we are aiming to achieve. And once it's finished, um, these are my drawings. So yeah, well done, Sean, doing a good job. Thanks. <laughs> right, so an example of putting a packer down. Over on this side, we have a line at the front and the line here, this is the center line. So that is where it goes like that. This is gonna go to the front. That's how I'm gonna do that. But the one at the end, that is my stop point. Like so. So I simply get a three mil drill bit. Don't pre-drill too much into the floor. I don't really pre-drill at all. Get a 30 mil. No more than a 30 for the first one. I'm also going to put my second packer in. It doesn't matter if they're not the same size as long as they're okay at the front and left. I'm going to pre-drill all the way through now. And now I can put a 50 in. So that, go, that will go through both the packers and into the floor, consolidating the fitting. Oh, it's knocking everything over here. And that is what I'm going to do for everyone. Once they're all done, before I put the timbers on, I can get my levels on top of these packers and just level up with one mils, three mils and six mils. I've got these packers down and I found out that this was my high spot right there. As you can see, I've got my two packers, my 36. I like doing that because when I put my bear on the top, that will give me uh, 56, 58, which is close to the 60 that I want. But then when I leveled across that way and that way, you can see here we've got three 18s and a two. So we've got 54 and the same there. So it's 20 mil lower down there than it is here. And then we've got eight mil difference lower over there than it is here so this floor is all over the place so anyway i've got my shims in now so remember i put my two base packers in then i leveled off from those points with my shims my three mils and my sixes and in that case over there two 18s and now i'm just going to screw my bearers down with 450 screws sean is assembling carcass number five sean what was the time two o'clock Half one. Oh, half one. We're at half one. We started at about half seven. I think we got going maybe quarter to eight. So far, we got everything in. Sheets down, tools in, bearers down over there. Four carcasses made, those three, and this one, and another one. And I'm nearly about to finish those bearers. So that's not so bad in half a day. Give us another two and a half days to get this finished because we've got three in total. This is the upper unit. It's upside down at the moment of the library unit over there. It's coming out nice and crisp, nice and chunky. You can see the fixings through the side. We've got four. We staggered them because these shelves are made up of 18 and 25. We just made sure we put these screws in the center of those two materials. Well, each one individually. And there's two biscuits in each shelf also. They've been screwed, alternating up, up and down across the width to give that lots of support. I mean, 43 mil is ridiculously thick, so that's not going to bow. But at least we've got support all the way around. Remember, we've got biscuits here as well, so that acts as a dowel. So there we go. This is what I do to get a video out to you guys. So we're at three o'clock and we are doing good for time maybe slightly behind, ever so slightly. Um, we would have liked to have got all the carcasses done before the end of the day, um, but it's 50-50 at the moment. Sean's dossing at the moment. So look, <laughs> that's what he always does, by the way. Behind the scenes footage of Sean. That's all he ever does, I'm telling you. Anyway, I'll tell you what I've done today. All right, this is what I've done, because Sean's done nothing. <laughs> I have got these bearers done. We've cleared this room now. As I was doing these bearers, the idea, the reason that we were both in here for the time lapse at the same time is just so we can get us assembling carcasses and bearers at the same time. 
So now those carcasses are done. We've got all six done. That's what we have done. The carcasses, we've got the sky blue remaining left. I'm now going to take the lights and the tripod for the time lapse and put that next door. It's getting a little bit darker outside, so hopefully we can still get good footage. We've got two of these trend sight lights, which have been absolutely awesome, to be honest. Really, really good. Um, so anyway, bearers are done, and this is what they look like. It was up to 20 mil out of level in some places, but that's ready. And before we do start committing and putting carcasses in place, we do have one socket to cut out there. Let me go and grab some sight lights. These are the three big cabinets and um, carcasses. One, two, three. And then you've got three over there. So they are all the carcasses for next door. We haven't assembled any of the blue. So that is what we are going to do right now. We just need to knock in the biscuits into all the components. Just do one at a time. Um, two of them are more complicated than the others. Basically, the way that we have designed this, this is my drawing, okay? Let's see if we could just go over it. So we've got one carcass here. We've got another carcass here. This one is a full carcass that runs all the way to the top. And this bulkhead then just runs up to that carcass and across. And then we've got a TV panel that goes inside. So the idea is we're going to get the two low carcasses in. We're then going to get this tall carcass. We're then going to fit this TV panel in place because it's got biscuit slots all the way around. We need to cut it in width and in height. Then we will slot the rest on top. And that is how we're going to do it. It's quarter past three. Let's see if we can get it all done. It's touch and go. And then tomorrow it's about putting units together, cutting out for sockets. And we've got one for the telly. One for the lower cabinet there, lower cabinet there. We're doing well, hoping to leave at about half four or five. If you're enjoying the content, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you do like the content, why not become a member and help me support the channel, support the work that we do here. Everything that I'm doing right now and putting this time and effort into filming is for you guys, not for me. Get this work done a lot sooner if I didn't have to film. Feel free to become a member if you feel like you want to. Well, hey, getting on to the exciting stuff. We've got this funky unit here, which had to be made in a certain way. The reason why the units were all made in different sizes, for example, that was short, that was a single one, that was a full length, and then the, the bulkhead went from there across, is to minimize scene fixings. And it was mainly down to, at the top here, some of them were open and some have doors on. The ones that had doors on, we could hide the joints of where the carcass is joined and where there wasn't one. Obviously, you can't, well, you don't want to see any fixings or screws or double pieces of 18 mil together to, um, well, you, don't, you just don't want that to be seen. Hence the reason the design is as it is. We've got pockets at the bottom of a few. Um, we've got a couple of screws at the bottom of a few, but they are basically all unseen to... So, the normal person standing up. The average six foot person like me standing up, isn't it, Sean? Six six, my six six. We just based it on my height of six foot. <laughs> anyway, so let's quickly give you a rundown. We have got doors going in these lower carcasses here, and um, this is one of the spaces. But all the way around, we are seeing the frame on the outside, apart from at the bottom of the doors. Hence the reason we've got a step here, is the doors are sailing past. So that is only the only part of the actual framework or the carcass that you won't see the edge because the remaining, once the trims are in, this is the detail. And it's just going to be up against. And that was planned to see the border um, width and the look. So, yeah, um, happy days. What time are we at right now? We're quarter to four. We need to stop talking. Um, and get on with some work, isn't it, Sean? Yeah. Right, guys, so we're at 4.30 p.m. first day. Don't think we've done too bad. Time lapse has been ticking away all day. And we didn't get the four carcasses done. We got how many in the end? Seven. Yeah. Oh, it was eight. 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 So we. Eight out of ten. Yeah, eight out of ten. That's not too bad. So let's flip that over. And that is going to go there. We need to take. 
that unit out later or multi-tool a socket out. Um, all right, I'll give you a hand here, Sean. Ooh, heavy. Oh, right, we'll get it a little bit close, even though we need to move it. So there we go. We're getting close. Yeah, happy days. We've got the bulkhead unit running across there, which is then going to butt up to the full height unit. We've got a gap here, um, which is the side cheek, the side panel. We've got curtains running in here so that this bulkhead was built out for the curtains. And then the side panel of the wardrobe is going to be of the media unit, shall I say. Here's about 20 mil away from the bulkhead. So there we go. We um, are all cleaned up. I'm going to leave our sheets out. We've neatened up our, our tools, given the customer back some space. We'll crack on and just finish off the last two units tomorrow. And then, you know, while Sean is finishing off those carcasses, I can cut out the five or six sockets that we need to cut out for. And yeah, then we could just start building up. We could just start putting the carcasses together, screwing them together, putting the ledges in, etc., etc., getting them fixed. Before you know it, we'd be flying through. Yeah, so, ready, Sean? Yeah. All right, say so bye to everyone. Bye, everyone. Ciao. See you guys. We'll see you again tomorrow, 7.30.